Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, today I'm going to start a sequence of uh, some tips for you guys. Now, some of these tips are going to be for new users. Some of them are going to be for everybody. This one happens to be for everybody. And we're going to be talking about uh, the drain tube. And that's where the uh, water comes out when you do your defrosting of the chamber. Okay, and most people use a bucket like this to catch the, the water. And the big thing is you want to make sure you get in the habit of emptying that bu bucket every time you defrost. Okay, because if it builds up, um, you also run the risk of having this one catastrophic thing happen to you. And every single one of us have done this once. And that is, if the drain hose is actually sitting in the water when you open the, the valve, then it really causes problems, and I'm going to show you exactly what happens. Okay, then I'm going to show you um, a little device that we're going to put in line with that, um, that is going to help prevent that in the event that you mess up. I've taken the... Uh, the rack out and uh, the wire is just sitting in there. We've got a camera here that's going to catch that. And uh, we have a pump running over here. And right now I'm just going to go ahead and turn that pump off. And we have a good vacuum. It um, doesn't really matter what the value is, but this is what happens. Okay? So normally you'd come over here to open your your valve and I'm going to just kind of angle this a little bit so you can see what happens in this hose and here we go. Oh, you hear that? We just had water shooting on into our chamber. Uh, that's probably enough. Let me just close that. But you can see what a disaster this has just caused. Now that water has uh, sprayed and gotten on all of your dried food in there which means you have to rerun the batch, but it gets even worse. If you don't clean this bucket periodically, then that could be some nasty water, and it means you're probably going to have to throw out all the food that you just did. Okay, like I said, this has happened to everybody once. Um, and, you know, the, the other thing you could do is, is open that valve slowly and and look to see if something's coming up that hose but the easiest thing to do is just get in that habit and go ahead also and install something like this it's super cheap insurance and I'll show you what's involved alright we've installed a couple of these fittings let me show you what it looks like so with two of them you see that the hose remains straight of course it's in the bucket of water right now and uh, I like the way this particular part works out. You know, you can get something like this in plastic um, at any auto parts store, but it's going to be a Y. You know, it'll be shaped like that. And um, you really need two of these installed to get enough airflow so that, um, so that the vacuum can't pull up the column of water up that pipe. Okay, so the cheapest way, of course, are with the plastic ones. Um, but anyway, I decided to go with these. I like the way the, the hose lays and you know it remains straight and everything. They're not cheap, they're stainless, they're about 20 bucks for a pair. Anyway, if you can't find something that you like uh, and you like this idea, I could probably sell you a pair. Uh, just get a, get in touch with me. You know, you can go to our website and send an email and I can arrange to do that for you. So anyway, we're all set up. We're gonna do this again. Let me just uh, turn off the pump real quick. Okay, now over here, we're gonna open this valve up, and here we go. Now, you can see that there's no water coming through. Okay, and like I said, you do absolutely have to have two of these, uh, or it doesn't provide enough air to keep the water from sucking up the pipe okay so um, that's about it you see that that works very very well and uh, really prevented any kind of problems so hope you guys like that tip and uh, that's about it for today for the epicenter.com I'm epicenter Brian signing out